If all on Olympus will deny me my vengeance, then all on Olympus will die. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at every Greek god Kratos didn't kill. And if I am able to do this, to kill a god, then the visions, they will end. Yes, we know Kratos wiped out the entire Greek pantheon, but certain Greek gods may not have succumbed to his rage. Which god or goddess do you think could have been a cool boss fight? Let us know down in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new videos all week long, so be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Athena. Ten years, Athena. I have faithfully served the gods for ten years. When will you relieve me of these nightmares? We request one final task of you, Kratos. Admittedly, this is kind of a weird one to start off with. After all, Kratos did kill Athena after she took a stab from the Blade of Olympus, but she still lives on in an ethereal form and seems to be the only Greek god still living after death in some way. Sure, this means we probably could have put Zeus on this list, given everything that happened in Helheim, but Posthumous Athena is still Athena, thinking, speaking, and we suppose breathing in some sense. She's dead, but not quite. You will always be a monster. The Muses. The Muses are one of several gods that do not make an appearance in the God of War series, at least as speaking characters. Instead, they took on the form of collectibles for Kratos to find throughout the first game. Finding two of the four Muse keys would allow Kratos to enter the Chamber of the Gods and grab himself upgrades to his health and magic, as well as receive a massive heaping of red orbs. Two more Muses would appear in God of War 3, but only as a couple of statues used for a puzzle. So, who knows what happened to the Nine Sisters before Kratos brought the whole pantheon down. Ariadne Ariadne is known as the goddess of mazes, forgiveness, paths, and passion. Sounds like a goddess who could have easily given Kratos what he wanted, but hindsight is 2020. Despite her potential in being a key player in the events of God of War, she never made an appearance. The only reason we know about her is because of the God of War 2 novelization, where Theseus tells Kratos he seeks counsel with the Sisters of Fate to get Ariadne back from Dionysus. Of all the fools who try, you would be the last I would expect to seek an audience with the Sisters of Fate. And you are the last one I would expect to become a servant of the fate. Guess we know what she and the God of Wine were up to when the world was ending around them. Triton. Like the Muses, Triton doesn't make a speaking appearance in the games, but there is some form of him to be seen. The son of Poseidon appears in Chains of Olympus as a statue, specifically the same statue where Kratos takes hold of Triton's lance. There was also a mob of enemies in Ghost of Sparta known as Tritons, but that was a name used for Poseidon's soldiers. Perhaps something happened to Triton before these events? Amphitrite. Amphitrite serves as Poseidon's wife, Triton's mother, and queen of the sea. Despite these significant titles, she only appears in the form of a large statue in the very first God of War. During the challenge of Poseidon, you'll come across a chamber featuring a large statue of her holding a rather sharp looking trident. And that's all we ever see of her ever again. Nike. Nike actually makes more than one or two super specific appearances. On the contrary, she can be spotted a few times throughout the original games as not just statues, but also in various paintings and carvings. However, we have a belief that she's been around for the entire franchise. See, Nike is the goddess of victory and would grant rewards to those who won battles. In other words, she is most likely the reason why Kratos constantly finds weapons and orbs in totally convenient ways. Circe. 
Circe is a bit of a scary deity to encounter as she holds the title of Goddess of Magic. Even though she never appeared in the games, she did appear in a digital graphic novel that was made as a prequel to God of War Ascension. The story focuses on a mysterious man referred to only as the Warrior, and he allies himself with Cersei to take down a man known as the General. We won't spoil the rest of the story here, you should really go read it for yourself, it's pretty good. The most we'll say is Cersei's fate is unknown, but one thing we do know is that Kratos never killed her, so she qualifies for this list. Asclepius Whereas the other gods and goddesses make themselves known through statues, Asclepius is a bit more subtle. Well, sort of. In the God of War comics, Kratos heads to the spire of Asclepius in search of a mystical ambrosia that could cure Calliope of her illness. And yet, no sign of Asclepius anywhere? This is most likely because the god of medicine had already died before these events. In classic Greek mythology, Asclepius is killed by Zeus because he kept bringing the dead back to life. Hades was pissed, Zeus was pissed, and Asclepius was fried as a result. Phobos Considering he is the god of fear, it's kind of shocking that no one thought to give Phobos a significant role in God of War's games or comics. Plenty of other games have created some memorable and borderline traumatizing moments when focused on scaring the player, but we digress. Phobos is never shown nor mentioned in either sectors of God of War media. However, you could earn the armor of Phobos and the Phobos spear in Ascension's multiplayer mode. So, it counts for something, yeah? Artemis. Artemis. Kratos. The gods demand more of you. It's weird, right? Artemis had such an important role in the story of the first God of War game, and yet she never makes another appearance for the rest of the franchise. Well, save for the comics. This is the goddess who would give Kratos the blade needed to bring down Ares. You mean to tell us she shows up and just says, hey, here's this busted weapon I used to kill a titan, K, bye, and just never bothered to check in on things after that? Seems kind of sus. <laughs> Hestia and Demeter. We're mashing these two together because both Hestia and Demeter appear in a single, very brief part of the novelization of God of War 2. As the two express their disapproval of Kratos, the ghost of Sparta barges in on them and makes eye contact with the two. They quickly leave and are never seen again for the rest of the franchise. They very obviously knew that they were screwed in that moment. Apollo. You have gained the bow of Apollo. It's fiery arrows will clear your path. We have to wonder where Apollo was throughout the events of God of War 3. As the god of the sun, you're bound to see just about anything and everything that's going on, right? So imagine getting up to start the day and carrying the sun through its usual cycle, only to find your entire family has been wiped off the face of the earth and your flaming bow has mysteriously vanished. Oh, and there's some dude using your armor to fight skeletal knights. What do you even do with yourself after that? Do you just move to pantheons? Do you keep doing your duties as the god of the sun? Just what do you even do? Dionysus. Yeah, what happened to the life of the party? He is considered to be one of the major Olympians that most folks know about, so where was he in God of War? As we mentioned earlier, he did steal Ariadne from Theseus, but that's really the only thing that happened with him. He doesn't appear in the games, he doesn't appear in the comics, and he doesn't appear in the God of War 2 novel. Then again, we're not sure what kind of a purpose he would have had in the story anyways. Aphrodite. We all know what happened to Aphrodite, and YouTube doesn't want to hear it or see it. Kratos. You owe me this, Kratos. I owe you nothing. You know who couldn't kill Kratos? Kratos. Kratos tried so hard to kill Kratos, but there was always something getting in the way of him killing Kratos. Kratos tried to throw Kratos off of a cliff, he got saved by Athena. He tried the Blade of Olympus, but Immortality said, nope. In a sense, the Ghost of Sparta is so powerful that he cannot defeat himself, and we highly doubt any other weapon from the other pantheons will get the job done. But we know what will. Has anyone tried clunky dodge mechanics yet? <laughs> Zeus. 
Did you enjoy this video? Check out some of our other videos here on Mojo Plays, and don't forget to subscribe for more great stuff every day.